Hi and welcome to this hands-on video of VRTV. My name is Sebastian for Daydream District, which brings you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So, if you haven't done so, subscribe now. So, today we're looking at VRTV. VRTV is an app that allows you to watch videos and not YouTube videos, but side-loaded videos, which are videos that you downloaded from the web exactly. That is something that is still sorely missing in Daydream and now we have VRTV. To be more specific, VRTV is actually a cardboard app, but the developer added Daydream controls in this beta version. Check out the description of this video, because in there I will teach you how you can get this beta version too. The app itself cost $3 and in my opinion is very worth the price. So now as you see I have started the video and it appears here we have all these controls here on the side and uh, since this is not a flat video but more a 380 degrees video I click here on this symbol and it changes. Now this is still not um, 360 degrees this is like some 180 or so so I have to click on this symbol more often so now I have 180 degrees let me check it here and yes indeed it's a beautiful 360 degrees it works perfectly in all directions nice until now we don't have lots of options when it comes to video playback on daydream we have full dive which also is a cardboard app but i feel it's a bit clunky for video so this app is only for video playback and i feel it's much much better so we have this menu here and we can also hide the menu and clicking on the on the app button on the remote will completely hide it and bring it back works very well and you can completely control everything with your motion controller what we're looking at right now is a video that i downloaded from the web it's not in 3d it's only 360 degrees but not 3d so now let's check out another video which is supposed to be in 3d and let's see how the app is working with 3d content okay great so you won't be able to see it but i can see it now this is perfectly in 3d so this is rendering a great 3d picture i can see the distances and it's completely in 360 degrees so i can turn around and see everything as it's supposed to be nice works well the app comes with three different environments let's check out the second one the second one is this kind of home theater setup the app is still a bit rough around the edges so in order to change environments i had to take out the phone and go into the settings so this is not in vr yet but i'm sure the developer is going to change that once he finds out that lots of daydream people would love to have this as a full version for daydream also what's interesting here this is a this is a room which has no doors so there's no way to escape here just out of the window also the first cinema setup also doesn't have an entry so dear developer put in some doors or some exits so we won't have this feeling of claustrophobia thank you but other than that i could very well imagine to sit in the home theater setup or in the cinema setup and watch a movie no problem here so i just started another video it's also uh, actually a 360 video but i leave it here in 2d to show you the environment and we have all these controls that we can use here for 3d for example we can change everything okay now i put it to 180 degrees because this is a 180 degrees video and as you can see we can have a look around here in our beautiful yacht and yeah check out this video it's cool works perfectly really perfectly so so far vrtv is the best video player that i have used in daydream vr I still think it's quite a big oversight from Google that we didn't have good video support for side-loaded videos right from the start, but well, okay, we have now a couple of apps that can help us with this. So back to VRTV, I have asked the developer if the free version also supports Daydream and his answer was that it does not because the, the file browser is not available in VR, so this would limit the usefulness of the free version in Daydream VR. So, you gotta buy this if you would like to use it as I use it here in the video. Well, in my opinion, this app will be worth $3 once this is out of beta. And I think we should support these kind of developers who work very hard to bring us this kind of support that Google doesn't bring us. 
So I did pay these three dollars in order to make this hands-on video and a message to the developer please do give me a door and of course straighten out the problems for example if you would click on the, the stop button it would go out of virtual reality and of course if I want to change the environment also it goes out of virtual reality so there's still quite quite a few problems that need to be solved but then this is definitely ready for daydream prime time so before we end this video let's have a look at the third environment the third environment after the cinema and after this home cinema is a cave let's have a look at this right now so as you can see we are in some kind of minecraft cave looks very interesting i think especially for minecraft fans this might be an environment where you would like to watch some videos and this one has an exit so if you're bored you can go out of there and you don't feel like you're totally enclosed in a place or like like a prison cell okay very well very good for that now let's start a video here to have a look how it looks like in this cave okay let's start the paragliding video from before and as you can see the screen appears in front of you and the same thing like before you can you can make the size bigger or smaller and yeah everything works very well great all right so now that we've checked out all of the three environments of a vr tv and have checked the app in general why don't we have a little comparison to full dive the other app that now allows you to show videos on daydream vr so here we are now in the full dive app and as you remember we had an app walkthrough of this app as well as you can remember in this app you can do lots of things and one of them is to show video so this app is not specialized on showing you video and it does show so for example, we're looking now for the same video that we played in, in uh, VR TV. And here we are now. And I click on play. And as we see, we see nothing. So in this app, it wouldn't even play. All right, that's it for the hands-on video of the better version of VR TV for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If it was, please click on like to let me know you want to see more of this in the future. And of course, subscribe to always stay up to date about everything Daydream VR.